coming up for the morning rush. We start with Kristen Curry. Good morning. Rain and high mountain snow begins over the southwest this afternoon. A lot of cloud cover across the state. But those showers expand into this evening and continue overnight into tomorrow morning. You see there the mountain snow, the lower elevation rain. Tomorrow's morning commute likely going to be a little dicey in the mountains. And we're going to continue with these spotty showers late Thursday into Friday. And we continue to follow breaking news for you this morning. Another live look from Maryland where reports of three people shot near the National Security Agency headquarters right now. There are no reports of life threatening injuries. Local media is reporting the shooting suspect is in custody at this time and that an officer was injured during this event. The NSA headquarters is located on Fort George G. Meade. The FBI has closed off several roads at this time, as you can see from the live shot here. Right now, the FBI is actively investigating this shooting. We're trying to determine, trying to find out who the other two individuals that were possibly shot in all of this, who they are, and get their identities to you as soon as they do come into our newsroom. Happening today, construction on a problematic ART station is scheduled to begin. The station here on Atrisco is one of the major issues the mayor pointed out just days after taking office. The problem here is it's uneven. Right now, there's a gap between the station and the bus, and it sits at an angle. There will be lane closures while this work is underway to fix this issue. Work here is expected to take a few weeks. There is no set date for when ART service will be up and running. Crystal? On to news happening now. Senate lawmakers continue to work to reach a deal on immigration reform. On Tuesday, Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer objected to an amendment that would crack down on so called sanctuary cities. Democrats are demanding any immigration solution include protections for nearly 700,000 immigrants who were brought to the U.S. illegally as children, also known as dreamers. New this morning, Israeli police are saying there is sufficient evidence against Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu in two corruption cases. In both cases, police say there is evidence of Netanyahu, quote, accepting bribes, fraud, and breach of trust. Netanyahu denied the allegations, saying the police recommendation that he be charged with corruption will end in nothing. On to news new at six. Details emerging this morning about the helicopter crash near Raton, killing five people, including a key Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe fish opposition leader. The NTSB has released their preliminary report that includes an interview with the lone survivor. She says the aircraft hit the ground with a loud bang before rolling forward, finally coming to a stop. She says after the crash, a fire set off explosions. The full report could take months to complete. We'll stay on top of that for you. And new at six, a former debate coach at Rio Grande High School accused of raping a student is expected in court today as prosecutors prepare to retry him for a rape charge that the jury couldn't agree on. Deputies arrested 36 year old Luis Chavez in July after a 17 year old says he assaulted him. He was found not guilty on all other charges. Also new at six, we're learning the woman accused of allowing her boyfriend to beat her son to death will serve time for another crime. According to the New Mexican, Jeremiah Valencia's mother, Tracy Pena, violated her probation and has now been sentenced to serve the remainder of her 168 days behind bars. Kristen. Today's Metro Threat Index up to 5. We've got chilly temperatures to start, but breezy conditions at times this afternoon, 10 to 20 miles per hour out of the southwest. Showers coming in late tonight. Those will mostly be rain, but continuing into the day tomorrow. David? New this morning, Rio Rancho residents only have a couple of days to sign up for the police department's Citizen Police Academy. Residents and business owners will be getting a better understanding of the responsibilities that go into protecting their community. Some of the things that they will be learning about include the court system, animal control, and even school resource officers. Now, they will also be shown what the different units of the department do. The last day to apply is Friday. On to news, new at 6.30, a new survey by Honest Data shows users are spending less time on Facebook. In fact, nearly one in five Facebook users say they're using Facebook less than they did about a year ago. Arguments over fake news and politics are partly to blame for this. However, it's still a favorite online hub with more than 2 billion members logging in daily. New at 6.30, the U.S. Preventative Service Task Force is recommending against ovarian cancer screenings for many women. Doctors found potential harms outweighed the benefits for women without symptoms and who are not known to be at high risk. Kristen? For a check on your traffic, I'm not seeing anything major out there. Just a little bit of slowdown, Paseo eastbound near I-25, but everything else looks great.
And new at 6.30, 31-year-old Sean White needed a, and delivered a near-perfect final run to pull out his third gold in the men's half pipe. His win marks the 100th overall gold ever by the United States in the Winter Games. Congrats to him. Yeah. Cool. And also to those uh, two 17-year-olds, the youngest ones to, to get the gold. Yeah. Pretty neat. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. All right, time for the five facts. At number five, time to break out the pink as the Lobos are taking on the Utah State Aggies. The men's basketball team will be wearing pink jerseys to raise awareness for breast cancer. And they are encouraging fans to wear pink as well. Nearly 100 breast cancer patients and survivors will be honored during tonight's game. That all starts at 7. On to number four now this morning, where we have answers for you, for those of you who are spooked out by a creepy clown in the bosque last weekend. In fact, the answers are coming straight from the Pennywise impersonator himself. Everett Wilbank says he isn't trying to scare anyone. Turns out he was just meeting a photographer in the bosque for a photo shoot. Little FYI, he made the scary costume himself. He says he mostly wears it for events like Comic Con and also throughout the month of October. So get ready for that. And number three, looking at showers starting over the southwest today, and these will increase overnight into tomorrow, expanding across the state. We're talking low elevation rain, high mountain snow above 8,000 feet. Cooler temperatures come tomorrow and Friday, overnights in the 30s and 40s. Number two, now with less than 48 hours left to go in the legislative session, we're still waiting for a budget to pass. The Senate will be reviewing the spending bill once again after the House rejected. Did it. And at number one, we have a big day in court right now for this is uh, looking at uh, Justin Hansen. And this is he is the uh, man accused of beating Brittany Marcel to near death in 2008. He was arrested in July after a DNA match. Now, today, a judge is expected to hear several motions by the defense, including moving the trial out of Bernalillo County because they are citing too much media attention would result in an unfair trial. Well, the defense is also asking that the three charges be dropped, arguing the statute of limitations ran out before they were filed. That's something the state has argued against.